Okay, let's talk about the New York State Teacher Certification Examinations. And uh, specifically, I want to be talking about the birth to uh, grade two math section. Now, uh, because you're uh, watching this video, I assume that you are preparing to take this exam. And that is fantastic, as we definitely need as many uh, great people uh, teaching these days. And uh, what I have for you here is a math practice problem. Matter of fact, let me show it to you that you should be able to handle without uh, too much difficulty if you are fully prepared for the math that's going to be on the New York State Teacher Certification Exam, uh, birth to grade two. So here is the problem. I'm gonna show you the answer here in a second. And of course, I'm gonna walk through the solution step by step. If you wanna pause the video and work on this and then put your answer into the comment section, that'd be great. Again, I'll show you the answer in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, uh, so I certainly know what it's like to take certification exams. I have been teaching for decades, and uh, over those years, I've constructed many uh, math courses to include a test prep course uh, for this New York State teacher certification exam birth uh, to grade to uh, math section. Now you might um, think that, you know, just on the surface, like, well, you know, this is a very young age that, you know, maybe it's only gonna be basic math on this exam. However, that is not the case. You're gonna need to know a good amount of high school level math to include algebra and geometry. So I'm gonna leave a link uh, to my test prep course in the description of this video. But uh, whether you use a course like mine or uh, another uh, you know, material, you wanna be fully prepared when you, um, you know, take this exam, okay, as people do fail this, right? So overstudy, I guess that's my best advice. But let's go ahead and get into this problem. So let me go ahead and read it to you. Um, hopefully it's pretty uh, straightforward. It says, a real estate agent made $9,350 on a sale, sale of a home. Their commission was 5%. Okay, so hopefully we all understand this question. How much did the house sell for? All right, so uh, pretty straightforward question. And I'm going to show you the answer right now. And feel free to use a calculator. But really, this particular question is a percent uh, question, a percent math word problem. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The answer is the house sold for $187,000. Okay, now, um, if you got this right, that's great, okay? If you didn't get this right, just use this as feedback. And even if you got this right, this is very, uh, this is a pretty easy problem. There's certainly gonna be much more challenging math on this particular uh, exam. But, uh, you know, when you're dealing with percent problems, and that's what we're dealing with here, there is a couple different approaches uh, that you could take, and it really depends on how you were taught percent. So as long as you understood how you reached the solution, if in fact you got this uh, answer, then just stick with that logic. Now, if you are you know, kind of lost, you're like, well, I don't even understand how you got the answer, well, then I'm going to suggest you kind of use uh, my approach. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the actual solution. So again, this is a uh, percent problem. All right, so what we want to do is distill this problem down into a simpler version, okay? And really, the simpler version of this problem is 5% of what number is 9350, right? So if this um, real estate agent made um, this amount of money, $9,350 on 5% commission, right? So a commission, as you know, if um, you sell a house, they're going to get 5% uh, off that sale price of the home and um, as their you know, paycheck, if you will. And in this case, it was 9350. So what we're trying to figure out is 5% of what number, okay? Of course, this number, this mystery number right here that we're looking for is in fact the um, uh, sales price of the home. So 5% of what number is uh, 9350. So, a good way to um, do word problems, especially percent type of word problems, is to translate it into a simpler problem. Okay, we don't need to know about real estate agents' commissions. We just kind of really need to understand the math aspect of this problem. So 5% of what number is 9350? So uh, if you understand this, that's excellent. And uh, what we're going to do now is translate this problem into a basic algebraic equation. 
Now, again, if I was to give you this problem, all right, a lot of you were taught percent in different approaches. Okay, you can use uh, pro uh, ratios, proportions, uh, formulas, just rote memory uh, to solve various types of percent problems. But uh, I think if you understand some really, uh, really, really basic algebra, uh, you could solve all percent problems by just constructing a, uh, an equation. Okay, so it's very easy, and you know, don't let that word algebra scare you. But before I show you the solution here, let's just review how to find a percent of a number. Okay, so if I said find 5% of uh, 73, okay, so how would you do that? Well, hopefully you're, uh, you would remember that we need, we need to change this percent to a decimal, so that's 0.05. Now, how do we do that? Okay, so to go from a percent to a decimal, what we need to do is divide the percent, let me just show you over here, 5% by 100, okay? But effectively, what you can remember is um, the re anytime you divide by 100, if I have 5.0%, okay, which is, of course, the same as 5%, all we need to do is move the decimal point two places to the left. So that'll be 0 0.05, okay? So when you divide by 100, the, the result of doing that is that the decimal point gets moved over two places to the left. So here we have 5.0% or 5%. So we'll just scoot that decimal point over uh, two places to the left. So now 5% as a decimal is 0 0.05. So all we need to do is take that decimal and multiply by 73 in our calculator and we would get the answer. Okay, so in this case, 5% of what number? Well, I'm trying to find 5% of this number. So what am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna convert, uh, change this percent, 5% into a decimal, which of course is uh, 0 0.05, right? Now, what's this number that we're looking for? Well, that represents our answer, but we could just uh, simply use a variable like X. Um, of course, we're going to be using algebra. So X, it's a variable, it just represents a number. And that's the number that we're looking for. In this case, it represents the sales uh, price of the home. So 0 0.05 times X would give us the commission, right? So if the real estate agent says, hey, your house sold for X amount, I like my commission. So they're going to take that 5%, multiply it by that sales price, 0 0.05 times that. In this case, it turned out to be 9350 because that's how much they earn. Now this word is, is always the equal sign, okay? So when you see is, just think is equal to. So let's go ahead and just make sure we understand the translation here and then we'll solve this equation. All right, so as you walk through this, 5% of what number? So 5%, 0 0.05, what number? That's just the variable X is, is equal sign, 9350. Okay, so if you understand that, all we need to do is solve for x. Let me erase all this so we can concentrate on the equation uh, solving uh, part of this problem. Okay, so point, uh, point point zero 0.05x equals 9350. To solve for x, all we need to do is divide both sides of the equation by 0 0.05. So in our calculator, we'll go 9350 divided by 0 0.05, and you'll get our answer. Uh, 187,000. Okay, so uh, hopefully this problem wasn't that difficult. Uh, you know, I'm kind of, um, you know, just because of the nature of time, I, you know, um, I've given you a quick re a lesson or review of percent, but there's really much, much more. And you need to do a, a variety of percent problems as you need to do a variety of other type of problems to be fully ready for all the algebra, geometry, and other topics that are going to be on this uh, test to include fractions, place values, etc. So again, if you need help, if you're like, wow, you feel a little bit overwhelmed, check out my test prep course. It's extremely comprehensive, full instruction, tons of practice problems, um, or another course. Okay, But again, what you don't want to do is just kind of wing it and hope that you're going to pass because many people do not pass, right? Because you have to be prepared. This is a professional um, exam. Teaching is a profession, uh, um, you know, requires a lot of um, education, certification, and training. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't understand that. They just think that, oh, becoming a teacher is easy. Uh, it's quite the contrary. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best on this uh, particular New York State teacher certification exam. Thank you for your time and have a great day.